Hello everybody on YouTube land and here we are, a new haul video. I haven't done one of these for a little while and it's been a few months so this is a few films that I've picked up over the last few months. Quite lucky, I um, got a lot of these very cheap or on offer or found discount codes or all charity shops or CEX. I don't think Poundland though. <laughs> Poundland have gone recently. So let's get cracking then. So um, first one, there's a no particular order so get yourself a cup of tea um, I'll make this as quick as possible so you don't have to spend, waste too much of your time watching some big fat bowl bloke go over what he's got recently, the lucky stupid sod. That's me, by the way. <laughs> yes, I have a very high opinion of myself. Let's get cracking, shall we? So the first film I got was for my wife for our anniversary, and that was a film called Bloodfest. Bloodfest is a horror comedy, and um, I haven't seen it yet. I'm meant to be seeing it with a friend, so I'm waiting for that, so... Um, but I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I picked up in Sainsbury's, I think it was £10 for all three, the Darkman Trilogy. Um, I was very surprised to see it in there. It's not the sort of thing you see in a supermarket too often. And I thought, well, I love the first movie and I've not actually seen the other two. And apparently they're not that good, but I'm intrigued to see what they're like. So I'm interested to see that. This film I bought up a couple of months, about a couple of months ago. It's called Nightmares, an anthology movie, um, horror movies. And it stars Emilio Estevez and Lance Henriksen and, and the guy from It, Richard Masseur. I think he recently passed. Um, a, burr, a, burr, a, burr, a Billy Boy. And it's basically a collection of stories. And the very first one's my favourite, but I like them all. They're all pretty good. Definitely worth a watch. But the rat at the end is hilarious. <laughs> Honestly, though, it's one of the best anthologies I've seen for its time anyway. Uh, the next film I've got here, uh, this is a very fucked up film. Excuse my French. Incident in a Ghost Land. This is a very, very weird film. But I really enjoyed it. Um, it's quite dark. It's quite violent. Um, it's not the fastest paced movie, but it goes at a good pace. And it's got some twisted stuff in it. I really enjoyed it. Highly recommend you get around to watching that when it's cheap. Import from America. <laughs> and it's called The Unnameable. Um, apparently there's a problem with the audio on this Blu-ray. Um, if you switch to the 2.1, it's fine. So it's got a 4K transfer. I remember seeing the old artwork, which I believe is underneath this. Hang on. You can hear all the shaking. <laughs> there we go. I remember seeing this poster artwork on the, D um, the, sorry, the VHS back in the day. So I'm very intrigued to see this film. I've not seen it yet. Um, but yeah, that's definitely one I'm looking forward to watching. Got that cheap on eBay. Um, another one I got quite recently is called Deadbeat but at Dawn. <laughs> Deadbeat at Dawn, and it's an Arrow release, an exclusive slipcover, and it's it looks it looks so good. It's a typical grindhouse movie, and it looks proper violent, and it looks right up my street. <laughs> so yes, it's your nose. Do excuse me. Uh, another one I got recently is a film by George A. Romero, and he wrote it as well. And I've never seen it. It's called Monkey Shines. Now, um, I got this on in an offer, and I am really looking forward to this. The guy's beard in the trailer looks a bit funny. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, Stanley Tukey's in it, and I like him. So I'll give it a go. It's worth a shot. Um, another one I got recently now. <laughs> Troll Collection. Now, Troll 1 is about Harry Potter who wants to be a wizard. And I'm not joking. Check that shit out. Uh, this was made years before Harry Potter or was even written. And the second one is the best worst movie ever, Troll 2. If you've seen Troll 2, you know exactly what I'm referring to. And you know what? I love it. <laughs> My first watch, I was thinking, about halfway, I was thinking, eh, it's not that bad. I mean, it's not good, but it's not as bad like, it's not so bad, it's good. And then you meet this woman, this woman here, and... She is fantastic. And there's a bit in the plant pot where the guy's trying to make an escape and he's pushing him in a plant pot and the look on his face. You know, that's what sold me. It was so stupid, but I loved it. <laughs> Troll 2 is definitely the best out of the two. Night of the Creeps is another one, another exclusive. Uh, and I do love Eureka releases because they do go to town on their releases. Slip covers, posters, and 4K restorations, new special features, and new commissioned artwork. And I love this artwork. It's a good 80s movie by the guy who did um, Monster Squad. 
We've now got Suspiria. Suspiria. Your break. Oh, shut up. Uh, Suspiria is... Does it really need an introduction? It's uh, Dario Angent... An 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 I can never pronounce his surname. Angentero. Angento. Dario Angento. It's basically some guy who made a film. <laughs> I'm really, really well uh, up to scratch from my movies on this channel, aren't I? Suspiria is a classic movie. Um, and this has got a new 4K restoration. This was an exclusive to Sainsbury's, believe it or not. It was quite cheap. And I thought, I'll get that. Because it's usually quite expensive to pick up. I think it was only about nine quid. Oh, it was when I picked it up anyway. So it might have gone up because the new one's coming out. Um, now, I haven't watched all of this. It's a box set of... Ash vs. the Evil Dead. I love the Evil Dead movies. They're brilliant. Um, but I haven't seen all of these yet. And I'm really looking forward to getting down and having a, a binge day. And getting through the whole lot. How long is it? 833 minutes. Might be a binge week. <laughs> brilliant. Okay. Now on to a limited edition from Arrow. Is it Arrow? No, I tell a lie. It's Indicator. Which is basically like uh, Twilight Time for the UK. And it's off the film Night of the Demon. Rated PG. I know, a PG film. What am I doing? And basically, <laughs> it's, it's an old black and white movie. But it's meant to be one of the best of its kind. It was a film that my dad, I remember my dad saying it was really good and scary for its time. I saw the trailer. I thought, yeah, I quite dig old movies, you know. I don't literally mean dig out the ground, but I mean, I absolutely love a good old black and white movie. I've, I grow up watching them. I grow up. I grew up watching them. Uh, my favorite, one of my all time favorite movies of all time is in black and white. So black and white should never affect the quality of a film. And this looked intriguing and it was on offer and it's limited. I don't know if that's going to, there you go. Let's see, limited. Only 10,000 units made. And uh, this is number 7,768. It's quite a high number, but oh, it's still limited, isn't it? It doesn't matter what number you get. Changeling is in the, another new one I got recently. And I do love, you'll notice at the moment, they're doing this thing with Blu-rays, special editions. They've got a thick, that comes with a book and stuff, comes with a thick case like that. And I think they look lovely. And they, honestly, they just make it seem a bit more special. This comes with books and, oh, you know, it, like I said, it's... It's a great release, and they're doing a lot, of, a lot of these recently. But the Changing Inn is a good old-fashioned ghost story, and I really highly recommend it. It's a good laugh. Uh, it, well, not a laugh, but you know what I mean. It's worth a watch. Candyman! Another thick release. And I love Candyman, especially the first hour. The first hour is really good. And then it sort of just goes down the stereotypical route. But I think this is a really good film, and the restoration on this is insane. And it comes with all sorts of bits and bobs. So you really get a lot for your money with this release. Um, now, HMV have been doing their VHS range. And I had to pick up Clue. And Clue is basically, if you don't know, it's basically based on the old Cluedo board game. And a bunch of people come to this mansion and one of them's killed somebody. And it's a murder mystery, you have to work out who it is. And it has like three alternative endings. They had three people it could have possibly been for a different motive. And that's clever. And I think they released in the cinema um, a different ending for each cinema. So it's quite clever. Uh, the film, when I watched it, they had all three back to back. And I thought, well, that's a bit silly. They should have just kept the first one and made the other two or other three um, alternative. You know, watch, you can like pick a version to watch. So you can then guess who's doing it the second time. That would have been a lot more better. But oh well, what do I know? Blu-ray, first time in the UK. And it's Clue. It's in HMV. You can only get this in HMV. It's never been released on Blu-ray in the UK before. And it's quite not too easy to get over in the US. So honestly, pick this one up. HMV exclusive. I love the VHS retro range. I wouldn't buy all of them because I've got most of them already. But a couple of films here and there don't hurt for a nice collection. Okay, another, sticking with the VHS look, I recently picked up this from Germany. I've done an unboxing video of this, if you want to see it. It's summer of 84. It's a German release, so I ordered it from Amazon Germany. And it only cost me about £17. And you get so much for your money. You get a poster, a book, postcards, soundtrack, CD soundtrack, a DVD, a Blu-ray. And it comes in this nice VHS box check out my unboxing on that it is special it's a brilliant movie absolutely love it i really do uh a couple of dvds i got cheap uh he's out there i've not seen it but i'm sure it's out there i will get, 
God, my jokes. It looks quite promising. Don't blink. <laughs> it's Doctor Who. Now, uh, it's uh, another horror movie. I'm sure it's, it's a B movies you get from Asda for three quid. It might be all right. This film I watched fairly recently, uh, obviously when I bought it. It is called Ret Retroactive. And I love the black cases. I tend to put the black cases into horror movie Blu-rays. But, um, but Retroactive, I really enjoyed it. You have to stick with it. First, like, five, ten minutes, a bit wobbly. But you stick with it, it's worth watching. It's basically a time travel movie. This girl is in the back of a car. Well, a car breaks down, and this couple pull over and help her, give her a lift. And he's actually James Belushi, who plays the lead baddie in this as such. He's a right loony, and he's he goes off the walls, kills his partner in front of her. She finds this guy in the lab, and they go back to the moment where she gets picked up. And it's like how many times you go back and get all that. It's all been done before. Groundhog Day and 1201 and Source Code and Edge of Tomorrow and so many. But this was made in the 90s, I think it was, 97. I really enjoyed it. And if you stick with it, it's worth the watch. Good ending. Not amazing, but it's, it's worth a watch. Definitely one of the surprises watching it. I was in CEX for four quid, so I thought... No, I mean, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Right then, let's get on to another American import, The Man Who Knew Too Little of Bill Murray. Bill Murray is one of my comic heroes. And this isn't one of his best films, but it's one of his entertaining films at least. And it's about a guy who thinks he's gone into a TV show where he's a copper and he has to solve this case, but he ends up being put into the real situation. And it's a comedy spy movie set in England, and I like it very much. Got that quite cheap off uh, Amazon. I think it was about £4 plus a pound twenty seven postage or something like that. Uh, Lean on Pete. I have not seen this. It looked good from the trailer. Cool Duda recommended it. So, had to get in the basket at some point. Fino Mina. I've seen this movie. I've seen this before with my old friend Bob who collected Blu-rays. And we watched this and we were like, what? How could this get any worse? Or oh, even weirder. I think Donald Pleasance is in this, if I remember correctly. Is he in this? I could be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Donald Pleasance, he's in this from Halloween. <sighs> he's always watchable, isn't he? It's a weird film. And I'm, I bought it because it's got a new restoration, 4K restoration. And it includes a different cut of the film. And I was just intrigued to see what it was like again. Because I don't, don't really remember it that well, even though it was very weird. So I'm intrigued to see it again. It was in the offer. Memoirs, Invisible Man, John Carpenter movie, speaking of Halloween, and I love this movie. I remember seeing it as a kid, and it's a really funny, well-paced action romantic movie. That's the best way of putting it, a romantic action comedy. And there's not a lot of romance, there's not a lot of action, and there's not a lot of comedy, but they're all sort of jumbled up in this film. And it's basically a guy who goes for Chevy Chase in a non-slapstick role who uh, gets... Turn invisible and the government come after the game. Entertaining film. I really enjoyed it. Let's get on to uh, a couple of other recent ones. I picked up this one Evil Elves. <laughs> As do again. Cheap ass movie. Lovely font cover. I'm in the mood for some Christmas movies soon. And uh, these are going down on the horror Christmas list. There'll be a few of them. Trust me. I actually got a couple more horror Christmassy ones here somewhere. Here we are. Uh, we've got. Another familiar title, The Elf. Again, cheap as the... And the other one I got was recommended to me by the guy who directed, Andy is his name, who directed Ghost Stories. He tweeted me and said, you must watch this. I highly recommend it because I asked him about it. And Secret Santa, about a family at Christmas who argue and the shit goes down. Basically EastEnders special. But... Um, it might be worth a laugh. He says it's good and he's, he's he knows his shit. So I'll give that one a go. I recently bought this this movie of a guy off um, uh, Facebook who knows Big Pauly. I think his name's Craig. And I bought Cannibal Farm. I did buy another one which I can't find. Oh, Afraid. I just spotted it. Afraid of him. And um, I'm looking forward to watching this. It looks quite interesting. But he said it was crap, but I'll give it a go. I bought this in Poundland DVD. <laughs> I feel sick. Um, Twixt. <laughs> uh, Val Kilmer, uh, Ella Fanning. Good cast. Francis Ford Coppola. So, you know, the director of Apocalypse Now and Godfather. Who knows? It might be good. Might be a big bag of crap. 
Uh, Village of the Damned, John Carpenter once again. I've recently started buying his movies because I realised I haven't got all of his movies. And I like this film. It's very good indeed. Future World, Blu-ray. <sighs> got this really cheap before it even come out. Six quid. Amazon. And then it dropped, went up to like 9 99 Action thriller, Mad Max style with the very nice Mila. So I'll be watching that one. I watched this one fairly recently. It's called Streets of Fire, 80s movie. I think it was 87, I think. 84, 84 is even older. And uh, it's based by the guy who did The Warriors. It's like a rock and roll, um, 80s action adventure type thing. It's all right. It's not, it's not that amazing. Um, but I enjoyed it. Uh, it certainly has some great moments in it, and the soundtrack's great, um, but it's nothing special, but it's watchable. So I enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, right, we'll get to the still books last, because I like the still books. Uh, Hereditary, my wife bought me this as a surprise. I'm sure you saw one of my videos. Love this movie. Great movie. Really good movie. Uh, the Breadwinner. I haven't watched this yet, but I do like me some anime and some... Um, foreign animation, and I'm looking forward to seeing this. It's got, I think it's got an English dub on it, actually. I think it's Angelina, is it Angelina Journey doing it? Oh, no, she produced it. I tell a lie. But, yeah, it looks quite intriguing. Intriguing. It certainly does. <laughs> We've got um, <laughs> a Christmas horror story. No, I like this movie. This is a good movie. I really enjoy this one. And it's basically uh, another set of stories, anthology stories, set at Christmas time. And the main dude, the main one to watch, is Santa Claus versus Krampus. That is some amazing shit. <laughs> I love this movie, and it's not perfect. There's some certainly, a couple of the stories don't quite add up to some of the others, but overall, I... Oh, there's my socks on the radiator. <laughs> Fantastic. Got that in there, didn't I? Me Batman socks. Geek. Um, so yeah, pick up that one if you get a chance. I got that quite cheap off eBay. Now we're getting towards the end of the... We're getting down to the... We're actually getting towards the end of this video. Mind you, 17 minutes. One of my longest videos in ages. Mandy. Now, I have got the VHS version of this, which is in my review. But I have not opened it. And I decided to get this version because I wanted to keep that one sealed for certain reasons. Uh, not to sell it on, but I, I got OCD, all right? Uh, <laughs> Mandy, and it's a film star, Nicolas Cage, he loses his shit, and it's fantastic. I loved it, and I popped a black box into it because they look much better with a black box. I like Blu-rays with black boxes. I am... Um, we need more of these things, we do. And now that leaves us down to the Steely Books. The Steely Books. I'm going to start off with one I found in CEX for 8 quid. It's on Amazon for 40. And Only God Forgives. Starring Ryan Reynolds. Sorry, Ryan Gosling. It's one of the Ryans, usually. And this is a very dark, artsy, fartsy, violent movie. And I quite like it. I like the still book. I just like the artwork. They have the normal Blu-ray. I think it's 2 3 quid. But they have this for an extra fiver, and I had a voucher, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get it. So you don't see this very often about this still book. And I just think about it, I really liked it. So, it's a good film. It's a bit slow, but we stick with it. I recently got the Hocus Pocus still book, which was one of my videos from October. Uh, I recently picked up Kubo and the Two, P two P P P P P Kubo and the Two Strings still book, which was from Zavi Exclusive. And I got this in an offer, I think it was two for 15. So I was pleased about that. And then we've got, don't worry, uh, my friends in America, the Fat Samurai, uh, Preston, and Candy's, they'll be getting this. I've got uh, a copy as well now. Um, Evil Dead 2 4K Steelbook Limited Edition, Zavi only, sold out. Even Bruce Campbell tweeted about this bloody Blu ray, <laughs> this Steelbook, but look at it. It's, it's glorious. And it comes with how many discs? Three discs, one 4K and two Blu rays. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Don't worry, it's on its way. Candies and Preston, the Fat Samurai guy, is on its way to you. Um, I've mentioned them before, the Fat Samurai. They're an amazing channel on YouTube. 
and um, they're sending me a few things and I'm sending them this as well as a few other things coming their way as well which they don't know about which will be a surprise and I've kind of blown the surprise now but they're getting a few things soon as well um, but this is a, a bad boy and you're definitely getting it it's on its way to you trust me you're gonna love it it's a brilliant still book and I had to get myself one I couldn't help myself speaking of still books we have got the new 2k scan special edition of Escape from New York still book from the USA. Absolutely fantastic. I love this artwork. I love all the artwork, recent ones of these uh, animated versions of the posters and stuff. And I don't know. I just really like this artwork. And of course, running theme here, you'll notice. I had to get They Live as well, which is another classic by John Carpenter. Not my favourite. But it's a good one. I came to have bubble gum and kick ass. And again, this is a uh, a new. What am I wrong on that one? This one I could be wrong. It might be a new scan. Either way, I'm just glad to have it. It's a good film to have, and it goes well with the others. This is a limited edition of ten thousand only. Again, John Carpenter still book, and this is, uh, the film called Assault on Precinct Thirteen. Again, not one of my favourites, but it is a very good movie and the soundtrack is fantastic. And now my favourite John Carpenter movie of recent watching isn't Halloween. It's The Fog. Absolutely love this movie. The Fog is... And this is a new still book. And uh, I, I tell you, it is a glorious film. <laughs> I love this movie. It's definitely worth your time. I love this still book artwork. Just look at it. So that's it. That's all my films. Uh, um, you know whole stuff when we uh, the rec uh, recent additions to my collection <laughs> and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video tell me if there's anything down below oh and uh, tell me anything down below what you think and of any of these films have you watched any of them did you like any of them and uh thank you for watching this video really do appreciate it we're up to 48 subscribers i never thought this day would ever come i didn't think it i'm aiming for 50 by christmas that's just two more and uh, if we hit 250, I'll do a giveaway. Um, I have got some stuff coming up in Christmas, as you know. There'll be some more videos uh, later on in the week, but there'll be a couple, might be a couple more extra today. I don't know yet. See how I do. I haven't got that much time today, but there are plenty of videos are coming, are coming for you. There's loads. There's going to be film reviews and another haul video by probably just after Christmas, so a Christmas haul, as such. Um, we've got loads to look forward to, or you guys got to look forward to. I really do appreciate all of you on here for following me, watching my videos, commenting down below. And I know it's only 48 uh, subscribers and there's millions and thousands on other people's accounts, but you know what? I don't care. I say it all the time. I appreciate every single one of you and thank you so much for joining me. Uh, like I said, is there anything you want me to do? Like any videos, your reviews or... Um, trips here and there anything you want let me know and that beard video I did earlier that was a test I got this app on my phone and I'm just playing with it a little bit so um, and that's thanks to my mate John so I will be um, uh, sorry, experimenting a little bit anyway thank you very much for watching guys plenty to come Christmas is just around the corner my Christmas season and um, that's to look forward to as well longest video in a long time 20 at this moment in time at 23 minutes and 27 seconds and um, I haven't chatted this long for a long time so that's due to a new phone so thank god for that <laughs> I can do longer videos in three minutes now fantastic anyway guys thanks for watching this video really do appreciate it and comments down below and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video soon all the best